the devil's roar made for those who wanted more the devil's roar a land more fucked up than before the devil's roar will be the topic of today's video in which we show you everything that we know so far about Forsaken Shores so that you guys can prep for the awesome update ahead. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so first up we have the rowboats. The rowboats are definitely coming in this new update and they will be strapped to the back of your ship. Now, these rowboats uh, allow you to get to the islands or around the islands quicker, keep your cargo safe, transport your cargo faster, and it allows you to store a bunch of supplies inside of the chest in the back of them. Now, this is uh, essential to the new Devil's Roar as taking your boat in close may be very difficult. Alright, now these rowboats, you cannot spawn with them. They, You will find them sitting on the shore, washed up on the shore of different islands, and they are very similar in likeness to the rowboats that we currently see in the game that are broken. Alright, moving on, the new section of the map, the Devil's Roar. This section of the map has 14 islands in it, all of which are very large and dynamic, and the Devil's Roar itself is a volcanic theme, in which eruptions do occur and they can sink your boat. There's also geysers on many of the islands that can hurt you, as well as many other things to keep in mind. So the environment will now actually be dangerous in this new section of the map, as well as the treacherous trek to get to the new environment. And uh, coming with the new map, we also have a new campaign. Now this new campaign will be, of course, a limited time three-week campaign, in which uh, it's anyone's guess as to what it could be. They will also be releasing three new series of cosmetics, one of the largest cosmetic updates Sea of Thieves has to date. So, with these three new series, we have the Blacksmith set, the Kraken set, and the Crab set. Now, all three of these will be available in one way or another after the release on September 19th of Forsaken Shores. Alright, and we also have a new cargo quest for merchants, because most people really hate merchants. They've added a new type of merchant quest. Now, this functions a lot like chess in some ways, where if you are carrying some type of cargo and an enemy vessel sinks you, they are able to look at the cargo and tell where it is going. So, if you remember where it was going, you can try to cut them off. And if you don't know where they were going, then it's going to be a little bit harder to. Now, these different uh, cargo quest missions, the different kinds of cargo, some of them are fragile, some of them can't get wet, some of them have to stay wet. So with this, that means that all of your stuff has to make it intact, and the more intact it is, the more it's worth when you go to sell it. Now, to pick up one of these new quests, you go to a merchant at an outpost, and he will go tell you to talk to one of the new NPCs that are scattered around the world at different islands. And that new NPC will give you your crate, uh, or yes, your cargo crate, and he will tell you where to take it, as it says on the crate. Now, you can take it there, and the more intact, as I said previously it is, the more it is worth. Now, we've got also the new mini outpost called Sea Posts. These are often the places that you will take the new cargo quest to, or pick them up from. There also will be a new outpost in the Devil's Ridge called the Morrow's Peak, which will be the seventh outpost in the game, and will act, has a volcanic theme and will act as the primary outpost for the Devil's Ridge. Now, uh, we may also see uh, the introduction of the Pirate Wards, which are uh, basically the King of the Skeletons. So, we may see their introduction in the campaign, but they may be released later on. Now, we also have a possibility of other skeleton sizes of ships, so that includes the Skelly Sloop, the Skelly Brig, but those are not uh, even close to confirmed, so those may be coming around in a later update. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe to help support this channel, and also to tell me that Sea of Thieves is in fact helpful to you and you would like to see it continued.